Okay, for area between two curves, the next example that I want to give is the area that uh, um, occurs between two intersecting curves, and particularly two curves that intersect at two and only two points. So for this, we're looking at x squared minus 4x, and um, we can first try to picture the curves. Two ways we can go about this. We can solve for where their, their points of intersection are, assuming we know that there are points of intersection. Or we can try to picture the graph and then see if uh, there are points of intersection and solve for them then. All right, so the first curve we have is x squared minus 4x. And with this one, we can simply factor out an x. And that indicates to us that we're working with two zeros at x equals 0 and x equals 4. And since these curves are, since this is a parabola and uh, the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to open up. The uh, vertex will be halfway between the zeros, which is at x equals 2. You can plug in those values and you'll get x equals negative 4, y equals negative 4. So from that, we can draw a reasonably act accurate graph of x squared minus 4x. And uh, I'm not going to say that that's reasonably accurate, but there is a graph of the curve there um, passing through those specific points. Next, we have the graph y equals 2x. And we know that uh, 2x uh, has a y-intercept of 0. And when x is equal to 4, y will be equal to 8. And so it's uh, just a rough graph of that. We know that they have to intersect somewhere. We don't know exactly um, where it is, but they will definitely intersect. And um, we can find those points of intersection now by solving graphically. Now, this quick graph also tells me that the linear function is going to be above the quadratic function. So my integrand is definitely going to be 2x minus the quantity x squared minus 4x. But I'll solve for the points of intersection first. And we set up the equation x squared minus 4x equals 2x, subtracting over. We see that we'll have points of intersection at 0 and at 6. So our, we definitely are going to integrate from 0 to 6. And our integrand is going to be 2x minus the quantity x squared minus 4x. And that's how we set it up. OK, so we're ready to go now. I'm going to simplify the integrand first. When I do that, I'm going to get 6x minus x squared. And we're ready to find the antiderivatives. 6x to the second power over 2 is going to give me 3x squared, then minus x to the third over 3 from 0 to 6. And we're ready to go with this. Now, obviously, this is going to be a fairly easy calculation because um, when we evaluate the antiderivative at 0, the whole thing is going to 0 out. So I just need to do um, 6 squared times 3. That's 36 times 3, which is 108 minus uh, 6 to the third, which is 216 over 3. Now, since uh, the sum of the digits and 216 add up to 9, we know that 216 is divisible by 3, and that will be 72 for a final value of 36. And uh, that's going to do it for this example and for this video.